today we're going to look at embedding documents into the website that you have made. Use the menu bar, this is where we add pages if you remember, but we're going to click on insert. This is how you add all content to the pages that you have made. We're going to go to from drive. Recently viewed documents will appear here, you just simply click on it and the blue bar will come at the bottom and you type insert. If it's something you've not worked on recently, it might not appear there, but you can just search all of your files. And again, you click on it and you click insert. You can do more than one at once as well. It will tell you how many items you have selected and you can insert them both. Deselect by clicking again and then click insert. Change the size, simply drag the blue bar around. Use the guidelines to help you. You make it taller, shorter, wider, narrower, depending on what you want. You can also directly add documents further down this side menu bar if you know what it is that you want to add. So, for example, I want to add slides. I'm going to click on slides and here in the menu bar, only my slides are going to be shown. So I select again by clicking on it, the blue bar appears and I'll cl click insert. Decide where you want to put it by dragging and dropping it. It will automatically default underneath. Use the guidelines to help you and you can, again you can resize things. On slides you get three options. This will open in a new window. If you click on the bin item that will delete whatever it is that you've embedded and again you quickly add it in the way that we've already talked about and reposition it by dragging and dropping as we've already talked about. The third option is the settings option for slides and here you can choose to have it play as soon as the page opens and to loop so it keeps on playing and you can decide how long you want each slide to display for as well. As well as adding your documents from your drive you can also add YouTube videos really easily. One way is to click on uploaded and any video you've already made will automatically appear. Select the video you want this time we'll look at one adding pages that we've looked at before, click select and it will automatically appear and again you can resize and drag it around just as we talked about before. Another way is by searching and there are two different ways that you can do this. One is by pasting in the actual URL of the video you want and then it will appear and again you select it as we did before. Another way is to search by actual word and it will search through the whole of YouTube. So if we type in Google for education and click on the search button, it will look for all videos to do with Google in education and you can select any of them again by clicking on them and choosing select. And then just as we did before, you can resize it and drag it and drop it so that the video appears exactly where you want it to on your web page. And that is how you easily add G Suite apps into your Google site.